we often hear about low testosterone in men uh, and a lot of men when they reach middle age usually it's about the, around the age of 40 there a lot of uh, men show lower levels of testosterone and uh, the usual treatment for that is testosterone replacement therapy but in this video I want to talk about something that's less spoken about which is how testosterone affects women is it possible for women to be low in testosterone and if so what are the effects now you know you hear the expression male hormone female hormone when you when you hear the word testosterone the first thing that comes to mind male hormone when you hear the word estrogen most people think of a female hormone but the truth is both of these hormones are made in both both sexes males obviously produce much less estrogen than women and and, uh, and women produce about one-tenth as much testosterone in, uh, as men but both of these hormones have, play a central role, role in both sexes meaning that estrogen is important in men for certain functions and testosterone is important in women for certain functions uh, either too much testosterone or lo too little testosterone can cause problems in women. If you want to see an example of, of what happens when you have too much testosterone, you can look at uh, uh, one thing that comes to mind is hardcore female bodybuilders. Uh, a lot of these women take, uh, you know, anabolic steroids, which are synthetic versions of testosterone. They take fairly large amounts, and what happens is the drugs masculinize them. Uh, they get effects such as uh, growth of sexual organs, the clitoris gets very large, uh, much larger than normal. They tend to get acne just like male bodybuilders who use testosterone do. Uh, and they, they also, uh, uh, a lot of times you, the breasts, female breasts are dependent on estrogen. And uh, when you take, when a female takes large amounts of a testosterone drug, the breasts regress where they, you know, you can actually lose breast tissue and they get smaller breasts in other words. Uh, and also the bad thing about having too much testosterone or women, especially if you take drugs like steroids, is that a lot of the effects that women experience when they use steroids are permanent, unlike men. In men, most of the side effects that, if they do occur with steroids, regress. In other words, they return to normal baseline values when a, when a man gets off the drugs. But when a woman takes steroids, any side effects she has, especially in regard to let's say structural characteristics of the body such as the enlarged sex organs that remains that's permanent and one of the worst things that can happen I'm sure a lot of you people have seen this is unfortunately when a woman takes large amounts of androgens like testosterone thickens her vocal cords so she gets a kind of deep voice uh, and uh, I've, I've run across a lot of former female bodybuilding competitors haven't competed in years they don't even look like bodybuilders anymore. They, you know, they've gotten married or whatever. They're so-called normal people, but they still have that deep voice that, that they got from taking steroids. It's permanent. But now, what about not having enough testosterone? Well, testosterone does some of the same things in a woman's body that it does in a man. It's needed for, for example, the production of new blood cells. Testosterone stimulates red blood cell production. Women have a problem with that. They tend to be anemic from not consuming enough iron in foods, but that's a whole different topic. Uh, a lot of people don't realize testosterone is the hormone of libido or sex drive in both sexes. How horny you are or how high your sex drive is depends to a large extent on your testosterone level. And if a woman's testosterone level is too low, uh, her sex drive can disappear. And a lot of women, uh, older women in particular, because testosterone drops with age in women, just like it, uh, it drops in men, and a lot of older women who are, uh, let's say, deficient in testosterone, their biggest complaint is a complete lack of interest in sex. So they, uh, you know, a lot of them request being put on some sort of testosterone-type drug. Testosterone androgens also influence follicle-stimulating hormones in women, and that affects, uh, like, for, for example, FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone, from the pituitary gram, and that affects uh, that affects our reproduction. Uh, as I said, uh, testosterone levels often drop uh, with age in women, but in other women, the testosterone levels tend to actually get a little higher while the estrogen drops, and that is, is associated with problems such as uh, polycystic ovarian disease, 
where you know having a little bit of excess testosterone stimulates this type of uh, uh, medical problem. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the nuances of testosterone or androgen use in women is not quite as well known in women as it is in men. So there's a little bit of a problem. Now, what are the symptoms of, uh, in, of low testosterone in women? The symptoms are, again, low sexual desire. Uh, the, the sexual satisfaction is lower. They tend to be depressed. They tend to be lethargic. They also show a degree of muscle, uh, muscle weakness. Uh, the, uh, the way to diagnose low testosterone in women is the same way you diagnose it, diagnose it in men through blood tests. Uh, uh, if a woman's t a plasma total, total testosterone level is low than 25 nanograms per deciliter in women under 50, that's low testosterone. If it's lower than 20 nanograms per deciliter in women age 50 and older, that's considered low. Uh, you know, unfortunately, just like men, testosterone levels tend to fluctuate in women. So, you know, sometimes a woman might show higher testosterone levels than others. So you have to have a couple of repeated tests to show that a woman is truly uh, I'm sorry, truly deficient in testosterone. Women produce testosterone in three parts of their bodies. They produce it in ovaries. What happens there is uh, certain uh, androgens, like uh, adrenal androgens, such as DHEA and androstenedione, are converted uh, through uh, enzymatic activity in the ovaries into, uh, into testosterone. Of course, the adrenal glands produce some of these adrenal steroids, as I mentioned, DHEA and others, which are precursors for testosterone. Also in peripheral tissues, uh, where they, there's enzymes that can convert um, androgen precursors into testosterone. The major producer uh, of, of estrogen in a woman's body is the ovaries. Um, and of course, uh, as a woman gets uh, into menopause, the ovaries kind of slow down in their hormone production of both estrogen and testosterone. Uh, so, the, uh, by the way, uh, DHEA as a supplement always produces increases in testosterone in women, but not so much in men. T DHA always produces increases in testosterone in women. As a matter of fact, about half the women that take large amounts of DHA, meaning 50 milligrams a day or more, they wind up getting a, a type of acne. Even women who have never had acne in their life, that's the major side effect in women who take DHEA. Uh, there's other causes of low testosterone in women. These include adrenal insufficiency. In other words, if your adrenal, adrenal glands aren't working up to par, they're not going to pr produce the adrenal steroids like DHEA, which are the precursors for testosterone in, uh, in women. If a woman has her ovaries removed, again, because the ovaries are the major source of testosterone production in women, she's going to have low testosterone. If, she, uh, if her pituitary output is low, it's called hypopituitarism. Uh, she's not going to be producing the uh, pituitary gonadotrophins that stimulate uh, testosterone production in her body. Uh, if if you, any woman who's taken any type of oral estrogen uh, therapy, uh, can, uh, especially the, the type of estrogens they give to older women, that can lower the uh, production of testosterone. Any type of early menopause, women who uh, take a lot of anabolic steroids undergo a chemical, oh, not, so, not so much the steroids, they take drugs that block estrogen. In other words, in, in, uh, because estrogen stimulates subcutaneous fat so a lot of female bodybuilders will use estrogen blockers, like uh, aromatase blockers, like Arimidex, or they use Novidex. But what these things do, by they lower estrogen so much that the woman undergoes what they call chemical menopause. And if she takes these drugs for too long, it can cause permanent damage where she, she can actually wind up with low testosterone levels. Uh, there's a big controversy about giving testosterone to women uh, you know, again, the, 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 some of the same problems uh, crop up with women, like there's a fear of, of stimulating ty certain types of cancer. Uh, there is a medication called Estratest that's given to older women. Uh, this, this particular drug combines estrogen and testosterone. Uh, it's a form of sy synthetic testosterone. Again, women can also get the same testosterone injections that men can. Uh, and there's uh, uh, other options include testosterone patches and pellets. Uh, they've tried to come out with specific low-dose testosterone uh, drugs for women, 
but for some reason these drugs never caught on I believe one or two of them was approved by the FDA but they never caught on they just I don't know I don't know I'm not really sure the reason why possibly too many side effects I'm not sure but uh, you know one pretty easy option for a woman who suspects she's low in testosterone is to take a DHEA supplement because as I said DHEA is always DHEA is dehydro epi and and it's again it's a uh, it's an adrenal steroid hormone uh, and, and uh, it, it's uh, it, it can, it's a uh, it can be converted to testosterone or estrogen and men DHA often takes the estrogen DHT or de dehydrotestosterone pathway some men that are very low in testosterone will get a testosterone boost if they take DHA supplements but the, in women always DHA always increases testosterone and if a woman thinks she's a, a little bit lacking in testosterone she wants to bring it up a little she can take maybe 25 to, to maximum 50 milligrams a day of testosterone and that will probably do the trick uh, you don't want to take too much uh, you know <laughs> I mean if you resort to actual testosterone drugs and you take too much you're gonna get that masculinization thing I talked about earlier along with acne you're gonna get facial hair you're gonna start to you know grow beard I, I've seen female bodybuilders where I could see like a what do they call a shadow a beard shadow I, I think they have to shave their faces like men these are the ones that take huge amounts of steroids and there's also fluid retention women already have a problem with fluid retention because of estrogen fluctuations in estrogen if they take too much testosterone it's going to add to it and they're going to get super bloated I can even women can even experience male pattern baldness loss of hair if they take testosterone because of a, a, a byproduct of testosterone DHT is the cause of male pattern baldness and, um, and when a woman takes large amounts of testosterone she's also going to be uh, uh, producing a lot of DHT and if she has the genetics for it, let's say from her father or grandfather, she can actually get the same balding that a man could get. I've seen this. I've seen this in some women bodybuilders where you, you could see, I mean, they're not completely bald, but you can see they have very thinning hair in the front and sometimes in the back. So that's that's about it for uh, female uh, women on uh, and testosterone as far as uh, women can have low testosterone levels. Uh, it's more common in older women. But in uh, younger women, uh, it's possible for the reasons I said, even being under high stress conditions can cause a, a, a lowering of pituitary gonadotropins, which can lower testosterone in women. So if you have any, if you're any women watching this, you have signs that, no, you know, especially the sex drive. That's the biggest, I think, symptom of low testosterone in women. If you have no interest in sex, if you, you know, you just can't even stand the thought of it. It's very likely that you're a little bit low in testosterone. Again, first step, try the DHEA, 25 to 50 milligrams a day, uh, and see if it helps. If it doesn't help, you might want to consider going on. I think, again, that they have some specific medications for women, testosterone medications that would probably help a lot. Uh, and these are low enough in testosterone to not cause any masculinization problems or st cancer stimulation or anything like that. So that's about it for this topic. Uh, if you want further information on nutrition, exercise science, uh, anti-aging research, fat loss techniques that really work, ergogenic aids, women's health and fitness, supplements that really work, uh, hormonal therapy, subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, 40 to 50 pages every month, solid evidence-based information, no ads, I'm not trying to sell you anything. You're getting my 59 years of constant study and experience in this newsletter, which as far as I know isn't matched by anybody, no matter how many degrees they have after their name. Uh, so, you know, uh, if you when you subscribe, I'll send you an invitation to join my uh, applied private Applied Metabolics Facebook page where every day I post new information on nutrition, exercise, science, medicine all that stuff uh it's only for its current subscribers i have an email portal on my applied metabolics website where current subscribers only i don't accept questions from non-subscribers uh, or unsol unsolicited questions they could you could send me short questions and i will answer them uh to a limited degree and uh what else can i say uh if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have go to your local shelter adopt a dog 
Thanks for listening.